We've often wondered that when a manufacturer like Husqvarna has an engine that they then go and put in various different models, how those bikes then perform against one another. So it just so happens we've got a Vitpil and 701 for the next couple of weeks. So we've come here to an airfield, we've brought our own 701 Enduro and we're going to put them head to head. So let's have a shakedown with these boys and see how they get on. So I'm here with Jeff, who's been my wingman on this little uh, escapade that we've been on. We've had a good time, haven't we? Oh, I've been real good fun, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, and you know, you guys sort of watching this, you might think, well, why would you put like an Enduro, uh, not an Enduro, but a semi dual sport bike, basically. Why would you pitch it against a road bike like this? Obviously, the engine platform, the 690 KTM Husqvarna platform is a same wicked and it's it's effectively the same engine they're just putting it into various different models the supermoto the enduro the husfana the spark pillin so on and so forth and of course this the vit pillin um and it's really interesting this by the way is a worthy bike isn't it oh my god yeah i mean actually for a bike like this it's unbelievably fast it is and i mean yeah it might not be what what you would call an adventure bike per se but you could ride all day on this you, like we've often said you know you could go to the south of france and do a load of enduros and ride back home you could you could you know. and and funnily enough actually when we had that uh, bmw f850 mm. when we did roll on comparisons uh, versus our 701 enduro this bike absolutely ate that bike for breakfast which is kind of why we, when we got this i thought oh well let's pitch them two together because actually this is a quite a quick bike Put it, yeah, in those roll-ons, yeah. In those roll-ons, it's Absolutely, quite good. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not completely sure it's it's a, 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 a great match in terms of pure acceleration because they're such different bikes. What, this, this and this one? The, yeah, yeah. and, and that they're, they're pitched at, at different marketplaces. Mm. And, and clearly, because that's a pure road and that's a, a dual sport, it's not, you know, it's not apples for apples, is it? It's... Well, you know, there's one thing looking at the spec sheet because this is like 75 horsepower, this is 75 horsepower. In fact, this one's slightly lighter. Really? It's about, it's about 10 kilos lighter, the uh, 701 Enduro. So you're thinking, well, okay, this is shorter geared. Th they might be quite close, actually. Well, what was the reality? Yeah. The, this the, th th this Vip Pillin is a really uh, great and fast road bike. I think it's fantastic that zero to sort of 60 is 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 absolutely home for it isn't it, it w well I'd, I'd be honest it almost feels like it's got a launch control mm. it, it, it hasn't but it when when you gun it it just stays flat and it goes mm. really you where well, you straighten the power obviously it's a single loads of torque Lo masses of torque so you are you know as soon as you open that throttle you're right in the torque you know, so it maximizes the engine, the, the riding position, the ergonomics of the bike. It's, it's quite nicely sprung. It's got good uh, rear suspension, so it's very supportive of the power and it just gets it down. And there's something that they've done with this in terms of the gearing that just makes it like really- Rocket fuel. <laughs> yeah, rocket fuel. Like for the size of engine, it's really quick. Oh, and I think 
you know, f doing the, the, the zero to as fast as you possibly can within the, the space that we've been given, um, riding the two of them, you know, apart from the engine itself, the quick shifter on that is phenomenal. Mm. And although this has a quick shifter, I think because it's a dual sport bike, it's just a bit heavier. And so it just doesn't quite it's a nick lot clunkier. in. Yeah, it's a lot clunkier. Mm. Doesn't nick in as well. And I think actually you look, we all lost a bit of time on yeah. changing gears. Yeah, yeah. Well, th that, Having said that, I would never have caught that. No, no. Um, and, and, and this thing is quite hard to launch. It's very, it's quite boingy. You, know, you feel like you're riding Tig <laughs> yeah well you feel like you're riding tigger don't you a little bit with this <laughs> in terms of a naught to 100 or, or, or something but very interesting anyway oh, Ro really roll on was quite surprising as well because in third gear you thought well this with longer gears this one's going to be a bit more in the power and get an edge on it and it really didn't no it really didn't um and i fourth think that gear though was was quite close it really close but i think at that point the engine is almost probably at a comparable level mm. and you're just feeling the torque of the engine maybe maybe the torque wise it's not that different mm. particularly at that roll on kind of speed so you know i just flipping good fun good fun good fun well you know massively impressive bikes and you know, personally, I'm massively impressed with this Vit Pillen 701. I thought it was a rocket ship, and it just so occurred to me, I thought, God, it's doing really well. Let's bring another one into the mix. So, roll in the GSXR 750. <laughs> So we've been so impressed with the Vit Pillen 701. I've rolled in my absolute pride and joy, my GSXR 750. And, you know, we just thought also, you know, while we've got that, let's bring that along. And, you know, it was really interesting again, wasn't it? Oh, massively interesting. And I, I, I think actually the GSXR in its own way annihilated the 701. Mm. But in that launch control bit, I think pretty much the 701 in most cases got that instant drive off. And then the power of the, of the Jigsaw just like, once it lit up, it was gone. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's my belief that this bike, you know, of course it's not gonna be as fast as a Jigsaw 750. There's no way, it's got twice the power. But, you know, it's my belief that this engine, this platform in, the, in this particular model is like a really, really fast road going bike, you know, and, and within that sort of like speed limit -y type thing up to 80-ish, you know, this, this packs a serious punch. I think up to 60, the, the vast majority of the times that we launched against one another, mm. this was actually in the lead because the second that you hit off, you are in that power. Whereas yeah. this, you, you set off on the, on the 750 and you feel you come off that and you get back onto this and it feels flat you're like waiting and then all of a sudden the peak power comes and then and you're then she off. starts catching her up i would say the, the the majority of times up to about 80 ish the sort of neck and neck and then obviously i just come on that oh, and, once and you've take, gone there over. you just there ain't nothing you can do no and of course you know like on a but that's long... kind of what you'd expect is what you'd expect and on a on a long track you know where you've got like a longer track like a an Alton or a Donington or something like that it's got half decent straight on it of course I'm going to absolutely leave you for dead on on the on a four-cylinder sort of super bike really but 
short twisty short tracks well, what, uh, what? you know general road riding flipping egg you know you, this packs a real punch well you, you saying that about <clears throat> you know longer tracks shorter tracks and people watching might think well what do you mean talking about tracks with a 701 like that but you actually you raced one last year yeah yeah and so it, it handles track work really really well oh it does and the, the you know especially the short tracks because you're just out the corners and and you just you, you you're straight into the torque and it's really really effective at getting that power down that you've got to be right in the right gear you've got to be right in the revs of course it's way faster but it's just it's just a, an interesting test the other thing that was very interesting is the in-gear performance uh, with the jigsaw versus the the vip pillin yeah you know, actually they were relatively comparable so you know this isn't a toy you know this is a this is a this is a decent bike this is a good bike this is a one that you can have a lot of fun on legally with it you know keep your license on the road and, and that is the big difference, isn't it? You can have so much fun on that at moderately sensible speeds. Yeah, you can. You can. Whereas holding on to gears on that, you're into like legal. Oh, you, you, know, you just you lose your license territory. So really hope that you found this interesting. I know that we have, and we've had a blast doing it, haven't we? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic day. So all of the links are in the description for all the gear that we've been using to protect ourselves on test. Please comment, we'd love to hear what you think. Please like and subscribe to the channel too, and we'll see you next time.